the explosion, we didn't know what it was. Everybody dug down, make sure, you know, to position. We thought it went to fire, and I was started looking for my rifle, and I saw my foot. As American troops continue fighting in Iraq, many are struggling with a different battle right here at home. Would you um, feel comfortable showing us your injury? That's too bad here. How are they coping with their readjustment to normal life with their families and in their communities? The biggest challenge that they're facing, other than the challenge of rehabilitating physically, is how am I going to get out into the, into, this, into the world again and provide for my family and provide for myself? My uh, cancer, basically, I had two different kinds. According to the American Cancer Society, African Americans are more likely to develop and die from cancer than any other racial or ethnic group. But a revolutionary intervention program called Patient Navigation is making a dramatic difference. You don't die all the time, if it's caught early. Many cancers are now being caught in time. Patients are receiving treatment and lives are being saved. We did not, did not change the level of poverty. We did not change the, the race and ethnicity of these people. We, we changed the system. I use the media as a medium, like a painter would use a canvas. And I create social, political, satirical, theatrical performances that are designed to fool the news media. Most viewers trust, or at least believe, that if a journalist presents a story, it is presumed to be true. One man has dedicated his life's work to the pursuit of educating audiences across the country through elaborate satirical hoaxes. Some people in the news media have panned his apparent altruism by writing him off as a mere nuisance due to his obstructing the flow of legitimate news to viewers at home. Excuse me, if I'm a pain in your butt, good. I'm Christina Persaud. I'm John D'Amato. I'm Denise Rosado. Those stories tonight on a special City University of New York edition of 60 Minutes.